Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install hidden applications on your PS Vita. Now, I actually made this application, but for some reason Wario decided to credit me by my Reddit account instead of my actual um, name, because I, my Reddit account is different to what I normally call myself, just because for some reason Reddit doesn't like me, so whatever. Um, so the first thing first you want to do, so you want to find your AID, which you can do just by, you know, I would just use QCMA, and so I'll click here, alright, and then go to QCMA, and then settings. Now on Windows, it won't be there, it will be like in your taskbar somewhere, um, somewhere around here, it should be like your arrow, and you click on that, and it will have QCMA, you want to make sure you have QCMA, and you just want to find your applications backups folder, which is right here, this one here. Alright, now you just want to go there, alright, and then go to app, and then boom, you will see your AID right here, alright, just grab that and go here. Alright, now in here, okay, I suggest you head over to cma.tenkaku.xyz, just paste in your, AI, your AID and click submit. And it will give you this number here. Just keep this here, don't do anything with it yet. Just keep it there, okay? Now, the next thing you want to do is download the uh, create backup.zip. Alright? So, just do this. This is our thing, this is the thing I made. So, we're going to get this download. And boom, okay, now it's downloading create backup.zip. Now, Windows should be able to handle zip files, but if you have 7 zip, I highly suggest you use that instead. Um, or on the index, I have this thing called ALK, which pretty much works the same. You just want to find the option to extract it, it'll be different depending on whatever you're using. And you just want to extract it somewhere where you will remember where it is. So for me, I'm going to put it in my Vita Tools folder and in my PSEIMG Tools folder. Now I'm just going to extract that. And there we go, got so here called create backup. Now inside this, I have always files. So for, I don't want to do anything with them yet, because I first need to download PSV IMG tools for my system. So I'll have a link to this in the description. Um, Alright, so now you have to have a 64-bit system for this, it's the only limitation. And so I download one for your system. If you've got Unix, you want to do this one, if you've got Mac, you want this one, and if you got Windows, you want this one. I have Unix, so I'm going to download the Unix one. And it's going to be a bit slow. But there we go. But it should download pretty quickly. And it's not open it, go extract. And you want to not extract into a subfolder, okay? You just want to extract straight up just these files, alright, into the same folder that you extracted. The other zip file, so if I can go find that in Vita Tools, PSV IMG Tools, create backup. So in here, right now extract that. So your folder should look like this. You should have the files inside that, just directly in here of the PSV MD decrypt, and all that in here. Now you want to just run the uh, build script for your OS. So if you run OS X or Unix, you want to run this one. And if and you want one in the terminal for OS X or Unix. Um, on Win32, you should just be able to double kick this one. But on OS X and Unix, you need to run this in the terminal, which you can do just by opening the terminal and going CD and then the directory you extracted it into. All right, and then for Unix, it's got slash build dash OS X dash Unix dot sh. However, um, for Windows, you don't do the dot .sh, you just literally just type it in. So, yeah. Alright, once you do that, so hit enter, and permission denied. Um, right, yeah, it helps if you um, give yourself permission to actually do that. I'm, I'm a Unix noob. Yeah. Uh, you probably want to do that on Windows, if you're using Windows, you want to do that, but if you're on a Mac or Unix, you might have to chmod that. I don't know, a yes so yes on Mac, I don't know how much about Mac, I just know it uses Bash, so it should all work pretty much the same. But on um, Unix, you'll have to ch, you'll definitely have to chmod 777, um, that. So now it's just dot .ch, alright, now you, now you can, should be able to run it. Um, that's just only if you're on Unix, you have to do it, you don't have to do it on, um, on Windows. 
Alright, now if I do it. Alright, there you go. CMA key. Now this is what you found previously on CMA.hankaku.xyz. So I'll copy this. Alright. And you just want to paste it in here. Okay. Hit enter. And it will be, say, done. Add hidden apps to your CMA, QCMA backups slash app folder. So essentially you got this folder here. You just want to copy it and put it in that same folder that you have your CMA backups in. Alright, so that's for me is Vita Backups Apps app. Alright, and then this folder here, I'll put it inside that folder. And you just want to go paste. Um, right, I just want to say yes to everything that comes up. And once it's done, you then want to head over to CMA and you want to right click it and go refresh database. And then you can now extract it on your, you can now store it on your PSV though. Uh, by opening Content Manager and going to transfer from PC, from PC to PS Vita and then PS Vita applications and then clicking on it, it should be like at the bottom-ish and then just tap on it and click copy and it will install onto your Vita and yeah, that is it for this video I'm, I'm going to assume you already know how to use it once it's installed um, I'm not going to make a tutorial now because I already have Looks like it was for the um, 3.61 version, but it's pretty, practically exactly the same. So, yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.